it, to use this type of high technology to go after bad guys is fine. Um, he doesn't obviously want it used recklessly on individuals, but he seemed to draw the line that to the degree you could track down bad guys, and we have that technology, I, I, I think I've got the gist of what he said. Have at it. What do you make of that? Yeah, when the courts approve, that's fine, but it was never meant that we would have this gigantic uh, police force from the from the federal government. I mean, we had martial law up there, FBI, and all these agents coming in, closing right. things down, going to people's houses. No, uh, technology is fine, but it has to be guarded. And if there's a question, you guard liberty before you say, "Well, if we catch a bad guy, that is good." You don't give up liberty for nine people because you might find one person. So I'd be very, very cautious about that. And I would get the federal government is not supposed to be our police. Yet we have over a hundred thousand federal officials who carry guns to enforce these laws, yeah. and they own Boston. It's criminal that we were a, that people tolerated this so much that we tolerated this martial law and and, and total uh, acceptance that they can come into our houses and we can't even go out of the house. You know what if we wanted to go to the store and get a little Oh no, you can't do that. And yet, you know, and it, yes, it was serious. It was a crisis. There was three people killed. But, you know, we have 48 murders every single day. There's a lot of murderers out there. Do we close down cities because there's 10 murders over the weekend in Chicago? We, we don't do that. Hmm. Uh, but here we close down a whole city, not even allowed to go to a baseball game. I mean, I, I, think, I think it's very, very scary when I look at some of those pictures that happen up in Boston. Ron Paul. You make people think. Thank you very much. Good seeing you. Hearing you.